Okay, so I'm going to pull up my temperature management programs. As you see, I use speed fan uh, to control my fans. Uh, once Windows boots up, I use CPU ID to monitor my system functions, processes, and real temp um, to monitor my CPU temps. As you can see, my Northbridge temperatures on my MSI X58 motherboard are running extremely hot, 73-74 degrees Celsius at idle. Um, I guess it's a known issue with the MSI X58 motherboards. Um, so I'm going to see basically what I can do to uh, fix it. You can see I'm running my system overclocked i9 i7 950 at 4.2 gigs, um, but that over that over temperature that Northbridge is really bugging me. So let's see what we can do to uh, solve it as cheap as possible. All right, I already had my motherboard out because I was doing some other things to it. If you had seen some of my other videos um, when I was installing my liquid cooling to this, so. Um, which, so what you got to do if it's not out already, you got to take out your motherboard from the case, flip it over, and there are four screws that hold uh, the north and south bridge in place. Um, the screws are spring-loaded with a Phillips head screw, uh, slot, so you need a small Phillips head screwdriver. Be careful not to lose the springs or the black washers um, that they're under. So um, You'll see that I undid the south bridge uh, screws also. Uh, my intents were to replace the thermal paste under the north bridge and the south bridge, um, but I did run into some problems. Uh, removing the south bridge, I could not get the thing off and rather risk breaking my motherboard or damaging it, I just opted to leave it be. Um, the north bridge did come off fairly easy, as you'll see in a little bit. So the uh, screws are undone, and you can see the north bridge, that big heat sink, right in the middle of the screen there underneath the processor just with a little bit of wiggling um, very carefully pop it off there's the north bridge and you can see um, very little thermal paste on the actual north bridge and quite a bit of uh, dried up thermal paste uh, from the factory on the counters or on the heat sink um, here's a look at it not very good contact was made. You can see the Northbridge um, heat sink, the thermal paste from the factory is just this, dr it's like dried bubble gum. So I had to use alcohol on my fingernail really to scrape that off. Okay, I got all that old gunk off and I'm applying my new Arctic MX4 thermal paste. Um, way too much in this shot here. I ended up taking it off, wiping it off, and putting a smaller amount. Uh, just a little drop in the center of this Northbridge. Um, and then replace the uh, factory heat sink using even pressure to distribute the thermal paste. Um, once you get it on and seated and seated uh, correctly, you can then flip the motherboard back over and reinstall your screws. When tightening the screws, be careful not to strip them or to tighten them too tight as you can crack your motherboard, which would render it useless. Okay, uh, here you see my 40 millimeter fan that I paid $1.98 for, uh, frozencpu.com. And also in the video you'll see um, my HyperX fan. I did install that and I put that on a separate video to cool my memory. Um, in this clip all you see is me just basically unboxing it. If you want to see the install for this fan, it's a really cool fan. Um, looks really good, works really good, it's solid built. Um, check out my install on how to do that. All right, so taking it out, it looks good. A um, little bit about the 40 millimeter fan I use. It's real um, simple, four screw holes in it. It is uh, UV reactive, so it'll look cool in my case under my lights. And it also has a couple LEDs in it to make it look uh, really neat. So here I'm gonna give you a good look um, at the HyperX after it's installed. Um, there's my north bridge without the fan, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like and how to put the little fan on. Uh, basically, the way the stock heatsink was, I was able to just screw the screws that came with the 40 millimeter fan uh, directly into the heatsink um, itself, uh, which created threads, which was very um, convenient. I didn't have to make a bracket for it. Uh, it's very sturdy. 
and the little fin will just sit right on top of the heat sink. Um, then just run the wire to the three pin um, fan power outlet. Um, I went to the closest one possible. Just ran underneath my GTX 460 there as you can see. Um, and then I just tidied up the cable uh, with a little uh, zip tie. It would have been a lot easier if I took the 460 out, but I didn't. That can be done. There you go. Alright, so now just to give you a look what it looks like all lit up, powered on. Uh, you can see the Kingston HyperX fan there is real bright. Um, blue LEDs. Looks really awesome. It's fairly quiet. And to the left you see the 40 millimeter, under $2 fan that I installed there. Uh, looks pretty cool underneath my UV lighting. Um, also has three LEDs built into it. And the fan is surprisingly quiet. It uh, clocks in over 8,000 RPMs. Um, and with speed fan, I'm able to control the speed, so if it's too loud, I can um, turn it down. But it does look really, uh, really slick. So let's see what the temps look like. Um, after the modification I did, replacing the Arctic M Export Thermal Paste and uh, putting on a little $2 fan. Get you my programs up, get you zoomed in here so you can see. The Northbridge temperatures are now at idle temperature at 30 degrees Celsius as compared to the previous 74. Um, so a 44 degree temperature drop for um, very minimal money. Um, $2 for the fan, um, I had some extra MX4 paste, so really, you think about it, I could have done this whole um, fix under $15 probably. Um, so yeah, very um, much worth the effort. I'm a lot more comfortable having my system overclocked at 4.2 um, with my North Bridge much cooler. Um, so I'm very happy. As you can see, the North Bridge fan clocking in, that's 100%, um, 82 or 100 RPMs, which still is pretty quiet. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. One, two, one, two, keep it on. Listen to the shit because we keep it till dawn. Listen to the ass track, got it going on. Listen to the ladies, come on and let me spawn. All your eggs, then you go up the river. Listen to the ass track, that freaky nigga. Now, I'm that rock and I shock and I tick and I